Good morning everyone. We're off to the vets this morning because Max needs some medication and we'll just talk about that on the way. Up and in. Good lad. <laughs> everywhere so Christmas time when our daughter came home because she was in our bubble um, and she hadn't seen Max for a while. She noticed his face looked older, is what she said. So, I suppose when you see somebody or see something every day, you don't really see small changes, um, but she did, because she hadn't seen him for a while. So, she said, why is he looking so old? Yeah. And we looked, and his muscle has changed. He's, now that time has passed, we're at the beginning of February. He has had quite a lot of hair loss around his face and his muzzle. He's had some spots. Um, I suppose we hadn't really noticed because he doesn't itch his face, he doesn't scratch. So it hasn't really been causing them um, an issue. But when we started to look, then obviously we became more concerned. And the under side of his mouth I want to show you. <laughs> yeah, they'd become quite red. So, once we'd got through Christmas and New Year, we got an appointment with the vet <clears throat> and um, they had a good look at him, um, asked about his general health, did a full checkup on him. And they, they, they proposed a course of action um, to sort of start finding out what it was. Um, initially they were looking to see if the regular medications that he takes for his um, flea and worm um, could be having a side effect on him and then I said well we do travel to Portugal quite regularly and um, immediately the vet was like oh right okay um, there is something called how do you pronounce it? Uh, leash. Leash miners. Leash yeah, manners. Leash miners, yes. Which we'd never heard of. And when we got his pet passport, he was having all these normal vaccinations. Nobody had ever mentioned it, even though they did ask specifically, you know, what countries you travelled through, where's your final destination. And um, so we became quite concerned, especially if it was our fault. <laughs> because we'd taken them there. So, to start off, he had some bloods taken and they did some skin scrapes just in our local surgery to see if there was any sort of mite infestation. So, those two things, the mite infestation and the lice miners, were the two main concerns that the vet had. Within 48 hours, they came back to say that he had no um, mite infestations, there was nothing there. Um, they'd taken them from three different places on his face and his muzzle. There was absolutely nothing at all. He was lovely and clean, there was nothing untoward. We would then have to wait for the blood test to come back for the Leishmanners. And after doing lots of, well, some research on the internet, it can be very nasty. Um, and thank you to Luke and Sarah um, from their channel because they were the people who opened my eyes to it and sort of really raised our concern to get something done very quickly for Max. Um, yesterday we got a phone call from the vet to happily say his test, his blood test came back negative. He does not have that horrible nasty disease which is very prevalent. Yes, I know you're lovely. Um, he does not have it so a little bit of a medical mystery still um, the vet said that there were lots of other things that we could well there are some other things that we could do to investigate further because he can't put his finger straight on what he thinks it is um, but they would involve more invasive procedures um, that I 
I took a little bit of time to think about. And what it would involve is where he'd had some of his spots, they were going to do a full skin biopsy, um, which would mean him going under an anaesthetic. It would then mean this full depth of his skin would be extracted and they would take those away for investigation. And then he would have to have stitches. And in all honesty, because it doesn't bother him, at all, is it? No, not at all. We no. took the decision not to do that. At this stage? At this stage. Um, and the vet was very fully supportive of us. As much as he wants to get to the bottom of what's causing this facial hair loss in Max, um, and we do too, yeah. we are not at this point ready to put him under any unnecessary procedure yeah. to cause any discomfort or stress he's really happy about going to the vet and we don't want that to change should something untoward happen in the future we want everything to be positive for him so vet's suggestion was let's put him on a course of anti-inflammatories like a steroid treatment for two or three weeks and see what difference that makes um, and we'll take it from there. So that's what we're doing today. We're out in the miserable, miserable and nasty weather to go and pick up his medication and then take it from there. Yep. Okay, so here we are. Uh, Elaine's just gone into the vets just to get uh, Max's uh, medication, and uh, we're just waiting here in the uh, in the snow, waiting for her. Uh, we weren't going to get out of the out of the car, not in this weather. We'll leave it up to Elaine. Oh, here she comes. All sorted? Yep. Let me in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's so exciting. Oh, so you got something, you got the medication. Yep. <clears throat> cool. I had to leave the forms with them. All oh, right. So they'll just post them back out to save us having to come out again. Okay, that's cool. So, uh... Lovely. So that's the uh, the insurance forms. Yes. Um, just got to hand them in, and they're going to post them back out to us. That's uh -huh. cool. Oh. So that's his tablets. I couldn't read his part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he's interested. You can check him out. Just check him out. Yeah. Good. So, Lovely. And then they printed out a receipt for those. So they've got the three receipts for this sort of course of treatment so far. Lovely. Yeah. So, Excellent. So just a quick impromptu uh, stop off at Lidl, uh, just to get some uh, stuff for our lunch for today. Um, some bits and bobs. And as always, Max waiting very patiently in the van. For some reason, Max has uh, decided that it's a good idea to uh, get in the driver's seat. So he's pushing me away, pushing me out of the seat for some reason. Not quite sure why. I think it's because he's seen a dog over there actually. What it is, Max? You seen a dog over there? Love you. So rain, snow or shine, we're out and about having a walk, Max and I. 
to be honest with you I really enjoy being out uh, in the colder weather uh, it's very refreshing and uh, Max definitely enjoys being out in the snow he likes to he likes to nozzle into it and uh, see what he can find underneath the snow so yeah just out on a little afternoon walk again as usual uh, take you along with us So yeah, so here we are down uh, down where we usually come, Max and I. Just down this little area here. It's quite nice. It's quite peaceful, and uh, we get to see the river. Well, we call it the river. It's uh, like a stream, really. At the moment, it's a river. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'll just show you a little bit around here. It's quite nice quite a nice little space it's about 15 15 minutes from where we live so uh, so it's just a nice little exercise probably about an hour round trip can sometimes make it a little bit more than an hour maybe an hour hour and a half uh, depending on little detours that we take but yeah so I'll just show you around here where we take Max it's a nice little area uh, yeah come on then Maxie through here cool Good boy. So yeah, so uh, we've just had a bit of a downpour there. Is that what it's called if it's snow? A bit of a downpour of snow, yeah. So uh, uh, that's added another extra a few centimetres to the uh, to the depth of the snow. Anyway, uh, it's got a little bit extra chilly now and it's starting to get a little bit darker. Not too much, but I think what we'll do is we'll make our way back now. We've got about another half an hour uh, before we can get back to um, back to home. Uh, so uh, what we'll do is we'll get ourselves uh, get ourselves on our way back now. Uh, yeah, so uh, thanks very much for joining us on the little walk out with Max. I just thought I'd show you whereabouts we go. I know a lot of people out there are interested in what Max gets up to. Uh, uh, basically just sniffing around <laughs> trying to find stuff. But yes, so uh, take care. Well, yeah, so that'll be it. So uh, we'll catch you again in a little bit. Okay.
So we've got Max's um, tablets today and we're just going to give them to him now. It's three tablets once a day so he has his main meal at tea time so that's when he's most hungry and um, what we've been doing this winter is um, giving him some liver so I've reduced down um, the sort of the dry food that he gets and get a pack of liver, cook it off, chop it up and then he gets like a nice sprinkling of liver in with it because I think mm -hmm. there's lots of goodness in there. So, mm -hmm. so just... he really doesn't like taking tablets mm -hmm. and he's quite sneaky. Oh, oh, get down, get down, <laughs> sit. He's Good ready boy. for it. Wait, aren't you? Um, so I've stuck them into the liver mm -hmm. and then we'll just... Good boy! Well, that was excellent, wasn't it? All done. Yeah, ready for tea? Ready for tea. Good boy. <laughs> cool. Easy as that. Mm. Hi guys, so I've just been uh, editing the video there and then I just realised that there wasn't an ending to the video. So I thought I'd just pop out uh, and just say, uh, just, just let you know where we are. Uh, so Max is doing absolutely fine. As you've just seen, he's just started taking his meds. So what will happen is, is we'll keep you up to date uh, with any changes as far as Max is concerned. Um, so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, take care and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Lovely Maxie.